My mother said that when she was young, they would get orders from the trading post telling them what to weave and what not to weave. And she saw her mother and her grandmother weave with color. So she was really fascinated with the colors that were woven into the two Grey Hill styles. And she said that once she became of age to start her own weaving, the order came down that two Grey Hills would no longer use color, that they would be limited to just using natural color. And my mother was 84 when she said to me, I've always resented the fact that I was told what to weave and what not to weave. In one of our weaving classes, we had a student that came from Tokyo, and she brought us a small little plastic loom. To cheer my mother up, we gave her the loom to play with, and after that, she wouldn't put it down. Barbara was her primary caretaker, and so Barbara would tell her, Mom, you need to go to bed. Mom, you need to have something to eat. Put that loom down. Before we would take off for our classes, she would get our, our bags and go through them and pick all the colors that she wanted. She just amassed a ton of rugs that she made, the real tiny ones. So we created a Facebook page for her and we started putting the weavings on there and we were selling them for her. And she was so thrilled because she was finally weaving with color. We lost our mother last year in November, and I think in the time that she had before she really got ill was a really good time for her because she went back to weaving, and she was happy that she was able to use color. And so it was like she found a new freedom 